Welcome back to the channel guys. Yeah, this series is supposed to be about my travel in Thailand and my preparation here to move me there at the end of the summer and yet I'm flying over the Panama Canal and all these ships that you see on the video are waiting to enter the channel. As I mentioned in the previous video, all this trip was really unexpected. I was very busy with appointments and meetings, but I didn't want to miss the chance to explore a little bit the city, hang out with locals, and even though I had only a little time to going around, I hope you guys enjoyed these little shootings about this area of Panama that is called Punta Pacifica. Welcome to the street of Panama. After a few days in Guadalajara, for the convention, I'm now landed in Panama. So we land this morning. I had a very late night flight yesterday from Guadalajara to Panama, but it was comfortable. I slept a lot in the in the plane. So this morning I land very early in Panama and I had a lot of time to do some things. And I'm actually walking. We are in the Punta Pacifica area and I'm walking to a place to eat. And while I was walking to the restaurant, which is a place that I already knew because I was there on my previous visit in Panama a few years ago, I met this funny little family on the way. Yeah, as you can see on my back, the traffic jam, it's, it's a real madness. <laughs> Panama is a very high trafficated city, especially at this time. All the people going home, they finish to work. The streets are completely busy. The traffic jam, it's crazy. I'm happy to uh, be in this block because everything is really close and you can walk around. This saves you a lot of time because with these traffic jams going around it takes you really hours. A lot of food. So this is a omelette with vegetables and some bread and this is very special so it's hummus uh, with mushrooms and eggs in panama the food is very mixed so it's very interesting this is like a pita like greek style bread okay one of the reasons because i i choose this place when i came here the first time was the coffee you know i'm italian so espresso it's something that italians really need after the quick lunch, I get back to my meetings and then I got ready for the night. And the plan for the night was really nothing special. I just uh, jump in a taxi until Avenue de Balboa, where my friend have his uh, apartment. And then we just spend the night uh, eating pasta and talking about crypto and uh, talking about our future project and business. It was a nice night with really close friends, but no camera, cause my friends, they are too shy for that. And after a quick walk, I was already in the cab going back home, exhausted after another their long day. Good morning guys, just having a coffee to this place which is very famous in Panama, so it's called the coffee bean, so you will find a lot of them around, around the city. And guys, Panama is definitely not cheap. Look, I just had like a coffee, an Italian espresso and, and a muffin for $6.25, which is okay, but it's definitely not cheap for Latin America. So be prepared if you come here because it can be a little bit expensive. I finished early my appointment and I went for a walk to uh, a very big mall to buy some basic stuff, which is called Multiplaza. And here is where the thing is start to get interesting because I had a date later that night. 
I was so lucky to meet Neved. She's of course a local and she brings me in this beautiful restaurant called the Primitivo, where we had this delicious dinner. We decided after the dinner to walk around the area. The Casco Antiguo, it's the old part of the town and it's now a very famous party district. It's full of bar, restaurant and also small clubs where they play different kind of music. There are many bars with terrace in the area, so we decided to go to grab a couple of drinks in one of these bars with the beautiful view of the town from the terrace. And we finished the night in a small club called Buena Vaina Social Club that was really cool, but unfortunately guys, I didn't have enough battery to shoot some videos in the club. Yeah, I wake up a little bit uh, late that morning, but I didn't want to miss the chance to make a quick walk around and enjoying some sunlight before met my friends and heading to another beautiful restaurant for lunch. And for my last lunch in Panama, my friend brings me to a very, very historical place in Panama called Jimmy. And we had a beautiful, delicious lunch with seafood cooked in the classical Panamanian way. It's a beautiful sunny day today in Panama. And it's actually my last day here. So tomorrow I will leave and go back to, to Italy, to Venice. And that's it, all the good things came to an end sooner or later. And yeah, you know, it's always a little bit sad when you have to leave a place where you have a lot of friends, when you always feel good, you meet a lot of new people, do a lot of new experience. But you know, we always came to a point when it's just time to come back. And on the images of this beautiful sunset on the highways, on the way out of the city, it's time to say goodbye. And again, a bit of privacy, no camera for my last night in an uh, incredible property that one of my friends have just outside of Panama on the hills in a place called Sierra Azul, an incredible finca. And I spent there my last night with some friends, we had a nice dinner, a beautiful chat, and then I wake up very, very early to catch my flight from Panama to Newark Airport, where I had my connection to come back to Venice in Europe. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick exploration of Panama and let me know your thoughts in the comment below. Push the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel because uh, the adventure is not over. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next episode.